Welcome to preschool. Hi, we, boys and girls. We have missed you. A lot. You miss us. Of course you do. <laughs> so we want to have some fun today. So thanks for coming and we'll see what we sh talk about in just a minute. Hi, everybody. We are going to finish learning about our solar system and the planets in our solar system. Remember we talked about the sun. We've talked about Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, these are our land or our rocky planets. We Now we're going to start learning about Jupiter, which is our first gas giant. It looks like this. If you were to look at it in a book or through a telescope, scientists have looked at it through a telescope for a long time. And there's something really cool about Jupiter. Do you see this part right here? This is called the eye of Jupiter. And it's a big storm, like a hurricane or a tornado. And it keeps going on and on forever. So I'm gonna show you some pictures, some really cool things about Jupiter. Jupiter is a gas giant and it has really strong winds. The winds move really fast, over 300 miles an hour on Jupiter. So fast that if you tried to go fly a kite, it would just rip the kite away from you. There's no way. You, there's no way you could even stand on Jupiter. It would blow you away. The, the, the winds are so strong and the storms are really powerful. Here's another really good picture of the great, the great red spot or the eye of Jupiter. Remember, it's a storm that has been going on forever and ever and ever. And so far, it has never stopped. Jupiter has 79 moons that scientists know of. Some of the moons are really big. Some of the moons are smaller. Some of the moons are as big as Earth. It's pretty cool. Let's count how far away Jupiter is from the sun. So here's our sun. Here's Mercury, one. Venus, two. Earth, three. Mars, number four. Jupiter's number five. Number five from the sun. Wow, it's a little bit colder. Mars was colder. Jupiter gets even colder. It's even farther from the, the next planet from our sun is Saturn. Saturn has these beautiful rings that go around it like this. It's more of a yellowy color. Jupiter has red and yellow and browns and whites mixed in, but Saturn is more of a yellow color. The storms on Saturn are similar to that on Jupiter. The winds are actually faster though. The winds blow faster on, on Saturn. Saturn has these beautiful rings that go around it. That if you looked at it through a telescope, you could see from Earth through a telescope out into space and see Saturn's rings. That would be so cool. Saturn's rings are made up of ice, dust, rock, some broken bits of moons, and um, they, they just continually stay in the same place. What do you think keeps them there? We've talked about this when you were in class. What keeps the rings where they are? Gravity. Remember, Saturn has a lot of gravity. Remember, the smaller the planet, the less amount of gravity. The bigger the planet, the more gravity they have. Saturn, let's count to see where Saturn is in our solar system. We have our sun. Mercury is the first planet. Two, three, four, five, six. It's number six in our solar system. That means it's really cold on Saturn. If you went there, you would, it would be really, really cold. So you better pack lots and lots of coats and jackets and gloves and mittens and boots. Saturn has 53 moons that are in its orbit, meaning that they stick with Saturn and they go or orbit around Saturn and they're all different sizes. Some, some scientists think that there are more moons, but they haven't been able to find them or see them yet. Thanks for learning about Saturn. We are going to be practicing our letter U today. And this is, um, this is our umbrella puppet, and this is letter U. So U goes down, then back up, and so does lowercase U. It goes down, then back up, kind of like a big smiley face. Or if you turned an umbrella upside down, that's how it would look. So we're gonna sing the puppet song together. I hope you remember and help me sing. My name is Umbrella, my name starts with you. You sounds like ah, uh, ah, uh, umbrella, you, you, you. Is it raining today? <gasps> well, it 
today. It rained yesterday. Oh, I love the rain. It's so fun. I love to jump in it and play in it. It's so exciting. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it too. Oh, good. We're going to find letter U's around the room. So if you'll follow me, we're going to find U's. You want to help me, Uncle's Umbrella? Sure. Okay, here we go. Oh, look. I found a U right here in the word Tuesday. There's a U. Hmm. Oh, there's another U in the word Saturday. There's a U right here. Let's look at our letter chart. Here's a U. U. Umbrella. U. Umbrella. Let's see if I can find another U. See if I look up here. Can you find the U? Oh, do you see it? Yeah. U. It also has an umbrella picture. U, U, a, uh, a uh, umbrella. Hey, let's look over here. Okay, I think I found something on the floor that is maybe starts with U. Oh, look, somebody turned these chairs upside down. Upside down starts with you. Hmm, let's see, look what else we found. Oh no. What? Somebody left their underpants on the floor. You and underpants start with the letter U for underwear or underpants or upside down. Oh my goodness, I found one more thing that's upside down. Can you see? Scarlet's upside down. Oh my goodness, she's so silly. This is Uranus or Uranus. Some people say it differently. I've even heard scientists say it differently. So you might hear it Uranus or you might hear it Uranus, either way. This is Uranus. It's actually a planet that got hit by a large asteroid and was tipped on its side. Do you see how it's this way? It's much different than Saturn. Saturn's rings go this way. It's kind of tilted up on its side and spins this way instead of this way. So it's a little different. That's what makes Uranus unique. Uranus is also a planet that can change colors. Sometimes Uranus looks this way, <clears throat> a beautiful blue color. Other times it can look green or turquoise like this. It's also a gas giant. It's very large and it has 27 moons that go around um, Uranus that scientists know of. Remember, these planets are really far away, so it's hard for scientists to see everything that's going out there. The only way that they're able to find the moons of a planet is if the sun is shining on them a little bit. And because the sun is so far away from these planets, scientists have a hard time finding all of the moons that, that these planets have. Let's see where Uranus is in our solar system. We have the sun, Mercury. So from Mercury, we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uranus is seven planets away from the sun. How cold do you think it is there? Really cold. It's so cold there. You probably would turn into a popsicle. In fact, these last planets passed Uranus, very cold. You definitely couldn't live there. It's so cold, way too cold to live there. There's no air, no water. Remember, these are gas giants. There's, n there's nothing there, hardly even any land that scientists know of. Okay, we're gonna talk about Neptune next. This is Neptune. Neptune is a very cold planet, and it's also a gas giant. It's the farthest gas giant from the sun, which means it's so cold on, on, Ju on, sorry, on Neptune. So we're gonna find out how far away Neptune is from the sun. Let's count together. We have Mercury, starts with one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, Neptune is the eighth planet in our solar system. Sometimes Neptune moves even farther away from the sun than Pluto, but then it comes back. They kind of like cross. So Neptune's this way and then it goes out farther than Pluto and then comes back in and is closer. Neptune has a different orbit than all the other planets. So that's what makes it interesting. Um, Neptune has this awesome storm on it like Jupiter. It looks like this. These 
pink spots or clouds. Because it's a gas giant, it's very stormy. So this is the like the eye of Jupiter. This is the eye of Neptune. And um, it's the fastest part. It's very windy and cloudy and just stormy. And Neptune has 14 moons. Scarlet's reminding me that Neptune has 14 moons. And remember, scientists are only able to see the moons of a planet if the sun is reflecting off of them. So it's hard to look through a telescope and see all of the different parts of space. Scientists have to be very patient and find the right time when the sun is reflecting its light so that we can see what's out there. Pretty amazing, right? We finally made it to Pluto. Remember, Pluto is not a planet. It's a dwarf planet. It's called that because it's smaller than any other planet and its gravitational pull isn't very strong. It's actually smaller than our moon. Hmm. That's why it's called a dwarf planet. And there are five dwarf planets in our solar system. But today we're just gonna talk about Pluto because we all know Pluto. Pluto is another rock or land dwarf planet, and it doesn't have gases on it, it doesn't have water on it, but it does have land. And it's so far away from the sun, we definitely couldn't live there. In fact, if you were standing on Pluto and you tried to find the sun, it would look barely bigger than a star. It's so far away. Um, Pluto has one moon. Here's its moon. It's pretty small, but it looks kind of like our moon. It's gray. Pluto is more of a brownish color. That means they're probably made up of different things. Do you notice something that's, a, that, that's the same about the planet and the moon? Hmm. Craters, do you see the craters? There's craters here and there's craters here on its moon. Most of the planets that are that far away from our sun have a lot of craters on it. Just like our moon has craters on it, these have craters on it too. What are craters created by? Oh yeah, rocks or asteroids flying through space and smashing into those planets and moons. Okay, that's our dwarf planet, Pluto. Ooh, we're gonna put the sun in here. Whoa. All right, 10, nine, 